Hello everyone, so I'm gonna try to do this intro as fast as I possibly can because my camera is at 5% and my niece just woke up so I need to go take care of her. Um, so anyway, today's the video. I decided to do a makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while and, oh, sorry, I'm adjusting. And it's not because I don't like to do them. I do, but I always feel like I never, I can never get the lighting right when I'm doing um, tutorials. But I mean, it's not like a super professional tutorial, but it's like, it's, it's like, okay. Um, anyways, I decided to do this sort of dark purpley smoky type of eye I don't know but I was going through my makeup drawer and I saw this MAC pigment um, pressed pigment shadow and it's called a black grape and I thought it's beautiful I hadn't used it in a while and I came up with I don't know I thought it was I, I think it was pretty I think it was very pretty there you go I, I can't speak um, so yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I think it's really good for fall. I also wore a little bit of a darker lip. Well, not really. It's Lolita. To me, it's not dark, but I can totally see if people might not want to pair it together. But I decided to go ahead and pair them together, and I really liked the outcome. I thought it was really pretty. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and see how I did this, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this video like as fast as I can because my battery is dying like always. So yeah, and I did my eyebrows just like to save time, but I feel like this one looks weird. But anyways, I'm using the Clinique Even Better Makeup um, Foundation, and this is in the color 16 Golden Neutral. And I'm just going to, I should have shaken it up before. Let me shake it up a little bit. And all I do is warm it up with my finger and I basically start dotting it like around here. And I don't really have a mirror at the moment. So I'm using the viewfinder. And I put on this shirt because I didn't want to get makeup on my clothes. And I don't really care if this shirt gets stained. So yeah. And this is the Real Techniques buffing brush, I believe. I got this in a like in a set or something. And I'm gonna blend it upwards. I always get foundation like on my baby hairs up there so what I do is like after I'm done I'll just go back with my brush and make sure I like take away all of that and you guys always know that I add more coverage around this area because I have freckles and um, when I have makeup on I don't like to see them I'm not a big fan of my freckles I mean, I have them around my eyes, and I'm not sure why. Actually, I am. It's my mom. It's my mom's fault. Alright, so up next, we're going to go to our eyes. And I'm first going to use a big blending brush like this one. And I'm going into my very dirty MAC palette and I'm going to get um, cork and cork is like all broken for me. It's like the color that I, that I use the most. So I obviously need a new one. But I'm going to go to this one because it's sort of um, like a nice medium brown. At least for my skin tone it's pretty good but I feel like it fits any skin tone. And all I'm going to do is run it um, into my crease so right in there just like so and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side nothing too precise just 
adding some warmth in there. That's all we want, really. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead in with an E25 by Sigma. And it's sort of a really tiny brush. It works really good for blending. And my lighting just went blue all of a sudden. Okay, we're back. Um, and I'm going to go in with Folly by MAC. And it's this color. Ah, this color right there. And it's sort of a reddish with a little bit of like purple type of brown. It's really, really pretty. And we're going to go that and apply it below cork. So right like into the crease very precisely. And just go back and forth with it. Not messing it with, the, with it way too much. Not messing with it way too much. I can't, I can't speak sometimes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in there, right there. Like that, and then same thing to the other side. Am I like out of focus or something? I don't know. And I'm just applying a little bit and then adding more as I go to add to the intensity of the color. But still being very careful about keeping it right there. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for now okay so now we're basically going to the star of this tutorial and i am using black grape pressed pigment and it is so so nice you can use this shadow um oh my god i hate how my lighting changes you can use this shadow either wet or dry meaning you can foil it um I'm going to go and foil it a little bit because I only have, I don't have a ton of fixed flaws, which is so sad. Okay, um, so I'm just going to use like a flat shader brush like this. Um, and this is by Sigma. It is an E55. Yeah, an E55. Oh, I never knew it was an E55. So I'm just going to load it up in there. And then I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on it so that I can foil the shadow, basically. Top off the excess and then... With whatever I have left, which is not a lot, I'm going to foil it. And put it onto my lid. Okay, so we're just going back with this um, shader brush and foily again and just starting to blend that really nicely. 
and sort of smoking that out a little bit. And I'm sort of going all around with it. And even bringing it further out. Just kind of, I don't know, when you're doing it, you kind of realize the intensity that you want, so. I'm just sort of blending it out. Like so. And then you can go a little bit in with your blending brush and blend those colors out a little bit towards your brow bone sort of like that okay so for our upper lids all I'm going to do is smudge a little bit of this master kajal um because I don't want anything way too precise or anything but I just want to emphasize my lashes a tiny bit And then underneath as well. And I'm basically just tight lighting around my eyes. And I don't always do this because I do wear contact lenses, and so if you wear contacts, don't tight line a lot um, on the top because my doctor told me once that it like prevents your lenses to be like moist during the day. So yeah, I don't do it all the time, but I sometimes do it just so it can look more, I don't know, precise and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is add some mascara and then I'll be right back. I'm using the... Push Up Drama by Maybelline and Colossal. So I'm just going to layer those up and then I'm going to come right back up. So I'm back. All I did was add mascara, like a tons of mascara. And then I went and I added a little bit of foily just to smoke it out a little bit. Because every time I apply mascara, it like takes away from the eyeshadow. So I have to go back in and add more product, basically. So for concealer, I'm going to be using like... An old favorite concealer and this is the Mila I cannot speak today the Mac select cover-up in NW20 and I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit onto my hand I haven't used this one in a while I don't know why I think because it was in my makeup bag in my purse and I don't really use my stuff in my purse so I like forget about them a little bit and I'm just gonna apply it right around there and then on my nose I have fallout I just realized this that's kind of disgusting and then whatever's left put it right back there this is a very, um, like, thin concealer, but it has pretty good coverage, I'd say. And I'm going to use this brush to blend it all out. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's the Real Techniques Contour Brush, I want to say. And all I'm doing is patting everything in. It's good for that, for buffing out the concealer. Or even, I used to use it for setting the concealer, but right now I'm using it to blend. And it's pretty good. It sort of blends out. It blends it out so you don't look like all cakey and gross. I will say though, that this concealer is so, sort of drying a little bit. At least for my skin. You guys know I have dry skin. So it is a little bit drying, I feel. Throughout the day, I feel like when I smile or like do some kind of face gesture that I feel as if 
it's pulling on my skin a little bit. So I haven't been like a big fan of it lately. I'm a little sort of over it. I'm trying to like blend it out. So it doesn't look so obvious. I don't know, and the camera like shows a lot when I have concealer. I don't know what that was. I think it was shadow. Okay. So that's it for that. I'm going to go back with my flat shader brush because I don't have my other brush. It's like up there and I don't want to go get it. And I'm going to add a little bit of black grape, black grape pigment onto my bottom lash list. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with my small little shader brush that I was using. This one and whatever's in it. Um, I think it was foily. Yeah, it was foily that I was using with this. Whatever's in here, I'm just going to go and smoke that out. So I'm not putting any more product. I'm just using whatever. Sorry, I'm like blocking you guys. Whatever was on the brush like that. And then I'm going to grab the highlighter that I was using. And just, if I can find it. And I'm just going to line the waterline with it. I'm like covering you guys up, aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Like that. I'm going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. And I'm going to use the Colossal because the push-up drama causes a lot of smudging for me. This one does a little bit, but I'm able to control it a little bit better. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and contour a little bit with this one. Um, Bahamas Mama. The Bahama Mama. Um, bronzer by The Bomb. And I'm... Just gonna add a little bit of this because this makes me look great for some reason. I don't I don't necessarily like that. And I'm just gonna focus it right there, bring it up. Sometimes I bring it lower, but today I'm not. Because like I said, it makes me this particular one makes me look gray. I'm going to do a little bit on the nose, just so I can define it a little bit more. I'm not going to like make it skinny or anything, but I'm just going to define the sides a little bit more. Like that. And then I'm going to do some blush, just going to add a little bit. And I'm going to use Gentle by MAC, and this is a mineralized blush, and it's sort of pinkish, purplish, and I just want a little bit of glow, because during the winter, I like more of a pinky blush. It just makes you look like you've, you know, you're cold and stuff. I don't know. I just think it's nicer to have a little bit of a pinkier complexion on your cheeks. And I'm not going to add any highlight because I think it's sort of, I don't like using highlight during the winter unless I'm going to a party or something because it's not like I'm going to be dewy in the winter, right? I don't know. That's just my thought process. Anyway, so for lips, I'm just going to use the Lolita by Cabon D and this is a liquid lipstick. One of my favorite by far. I love this lipstick. Or like a lipstick. I love the color of this. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye.